Alright, what's up guys, I'm back in. I tried to just start recording it a bit ago. It stopped because of an update, but it didn't get too far, so I'm okay with starting it over a little bit. But anyways, here we go with Movie Scene at 2nd Edition. And I did look through this one before and bit to the categories. And some I want to say, I really like how they do the transitions to like the categories. Like you get a uh, setting, which... When, I, when we actually land on like the all play and the my plays, especially the all plays, I'll show you, which, I mean, well, I definitely will, because it's it's going to be impossible to go a game without an all play happening, so, at all, because there's the all play to win at the end, because like, if you somehow go through the entire board without an all play, you're going to have to have one at the end on the all play to win, so there always will be at least one, but I've never had a game with that few, although Nick's seen in game three had only nine, but anyways, I remember I, I think I have a regular box of the first movie edition, which is just the standard game, which I believe I did that before. I did that on the deluxe edition that I have here. Like the, there's the main game on the, in the box, and then a couple a bonus disc of like four categories. I did do those as well, the bonus categories, and I did the standard game on the deluxe edition box. So, but now here we are with movie second edition. So, here we go. Yeah, you get all these settings. Action, horror, adventure, romance. Now the names of the pieces we have, we have a chattering teeth piece, a car going off a ramp on the side of the car piece, a box of chocolates, which is like the romance thing, um, heart shaped box of chocolates, I'm going to say the box of chocolates, and a hand coming out of the grave for the horror thing. Now, so like the teeth represents comedy, the car represents the action, the, the box of chocolates represents the romance, and the hand coming out of the grave represents the horror. So for that piece, I'm going to call it the... Hand on the tombstone, I guess. Alright, but anyways, here we go. Alright, the teeth. A five. And we get a star. Oh, the star is the player's choice thing. So we're back to the normal ways the category die shape, so it's going to be easy for me to recognize it. But they don't list all play under player's choice, but I do anyway. So we actually will start this off with an all play, so I already get to show you it. I know it doesn't say all play on those, but I like to add them on there because basically these scenic videos I do, I do my own little rules of it. So in this case, the order is all play, my play, trivia card, or a buzz card. Yep, we're back to buzz cards after the next scenic game had splat as the name for the buzz cards. That's the order of the star piece, the star symbol. All play, my play, card, buzz card. First all play of the game. And I can kind of tell what category is going to be which by the setting. So here we go. Alright, you get on the the tower. Okay, it's movie remakes. Name the movie remake. If you get that tower, you get this category. Alright, 1971, Richard Roundtree, Moses Gunn. Um, Samuel Jackson, Vanessa Williams in 2000. Oh, I don't know that one. Shaft. Oh, it was Shaft. Oh, well. So, that's what that one is. If you get that tower, then you get the movie remix. It shows a setting for that. That's what I really like about this edition, because on the regular movie scene, it, all you get is the movie reel, the film reel, and it turns through it, and then you get like a little going through the sides that picks a category. Here, you actually get a setting as a lead up to the category, which I really do like. That was a clever idea for them to add that in this one. Okay, the car piece. A two. And we actually land on the all play symbol. So second all play of the game. What are we gonna get this time? Now we're gonna get it always goes through the gate, but gives you a scenario. Now we get cowboys. 
It's pictograms. Add the images together to create a movie title. I have this all the way up here. Yeah. Um, wall. Wall dragon. Red dragon. No, red dragon. I think. The red drag gun. The gun. Red dragon. Yep, got it right. Alright, so that was the cowboy scenario. You get a pictogram for going through that. Alright, the box of chocolates. A three. Third all play. Jeez, we have been getting all plays so far. Are we going to get all plays for all four pieces on their first turns? Because all that's left now is the hand piece. The hand coming out of the grave. All play number three. Alright, what are we going to get? But they almost always go through the gate. Okay, it's a guy holding up a radio. And it's quotables. Finish the movie quote. Um. You'll shoot. Oh, you'll shoot your eye out, kid. That's from um, A Christmas Story. I haven't seen that movie, but I've seen like clips of it. And I remember that line. You'll shoot your eye out, kid. Yep. There we go. And then he gets pushed down the sl um, the slide by the shoe there. Alright. The hand on the gravestone. The tombstone. Three. Yep. All plays from all four pieces. So we have not had anything else yet. No my plays, no trivia cards, no buzz cards. Four all plays. What's our fourth one going to be? Okay, through the gate. Oh, it's the tower again. So it's another movie remake. But yeah, they always go through the gate to get to that. 1968, Norman Jewison, Steve McQueen, Faye Dunaway, that's the original. The remake. 1999, John McTiernan, Pierce Brosnan, Rene Russo. Uh, what is it? Thomas? Oh, the Thomas Crown Affair. I was thinking of that. I was about to say it. Right before it came up. But yeah, what I wanted to add, for each like of the qu categories on here you get, it does always go through the gate, but then it shows a different setting. So in a way, it's almost like the first scene it where you go, the movie scene it where you go through the film reel, and then it just shows a bunch of little things, the little pictures, and going through it. Here you go through a gate, but you get a setting. Alright, um, the teeth. Four. Fifth all play. We are getting nothing but all plays. Like, I swear, I did not put anything on that dice. It keeps landing on it. I did not put any kind of thing on the dice for it to keep landing on that. I swear. It just keeps landing on it. Alright, fifth one. Here we go. Now what are we going to get? Alright, the, gra the graveyard. If you get the graveyard, you get visual puzzlers. Name the movie. Um, what is it going to be? Oh, crap. What is this? Um, ah, oh, oh, Beetlejuice. The last picture is Beetlejuice. There we go. The last picture helped. So I barely got that one. Um,. The car. One. Finally it landed on something else. Alright, one. It's a trivia card. Although they both appeared in The Godfather Part 2, Al Pacino and Robert De Niro had never shared a scene together until what movie? Uh, crap. Oh, Heat. That was the answer. The Box of Chocolates. Five and a my play. All right. So after five all plays, we get our first my play. My play number one, and you get a pirate ship for leading up to the clip, the pirate ship. All right. So what's our clip? I think I like. 
present. I know it's very bright outside, you but. Have gone and said that. It's a federal offense to threaten the president. You could go to jail even if you don't mean it. I mean it, all right. John F. Kennedy said all someone needs is a I can barely see it. Life for the president's right. That's right. I'm willing. And going up against you, this raises the game to a much higher level. Fate has brought us together, Frank. I just can't get over the irony. What irony? You being intimately involved with the assassinations of two presidents. Ooh. They're right outside there, aren't they? Oh, it's a, a fire truck. Hang on just a second, wait. I got something on the stove. Some left on the stove. Uh oh. Okay, it's the question. Name the movie. Ah. I don't know what movie that is. God dang it. I don't know this one. I don't know what movie it is. In the line of fire. Alright. Hand on the grave. The hand. Oh, I'm just gonna say, tombstone piece. Five. And a second my play. So that's two my plays now. All right. Another clip. said I can have anything I want. Good for you and your Oh, Pee-wee. So guess what I want? A new brain. Now, your bike. Ha ha! Ha What's so funny, Pee-wee? It's not for sale, Francis. My <laughs> father says everything's negotiable. Pee-wee. I wouldn't sell my bike for all the money in the world. Not for a hundred billion, million, trillion dollars. Dang. You're crazy. I know you are, but what am I? You're a nerd. I know you are, but what am I? You're an idiot. I know you are, but what am I? 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 Infinity. No, I'm not. You are. No way. Knock it off. Cut it out. No, shut up. Why don't you make me? Why don't you make me? Because I don't make monkeys. I just train them. Oh, Pee Wee, listen to reason. Oh, come on. I'm listening to reason. Uh. What was the name of the 1988 sequel to this movie? I know it's Pee Wee. There was Pee Wee's Big Adventure. There's Big Top Pee Wee. Could it be Big Top Pee Wee was the sequel? Oh, it is. Yeah, I got it. So, yeah, the original one's the Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Big Top Pee Wee's the sequel. Alright, so I got that one right. Next. Um, the Teeth. Three. And the Trivia Card. Landed on double feature, so its movement next turn's doubled. An unemployed couple. Revenge on a crooked CEO and a hatchback full of stolen solder what are three elements in what Jim Carrey comedy? Ah, crap. Um, I don't know what's... Oh, Fun with Dick and Jane came out in 2005. Alright. The car. Six. And our sixth fall play. So, six fall play of the game and two my plays. What's all play number six going to be? Alright, the dinosaur, it's like Jurassic Park. You get sound clips. Name the movie. Flipped over car and the dinosaur. It's like Jurassic Park, basically, that setting. Hey, I bet everybody would love to hear about your little rendezvous in the parking lot of the Oyster Bay Drug and Sundry. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Where the guy gave you the passports and the documents? 
Or how about your little phone call in Thai? <laughs> Jack can't talk Thai. Oh, oh. no, dude, Jack can't talk Thai. Crap. Jack talk Thai very well. Oh crap, I don't know that one. Meet the parents. Oh. Box of chocolates. One. And our seven ball play. Ball play number seven. Again, sound clips. Same category two times in a row. Alright, another movie. Get where we're going. We'll never be sick. We won't get any older and we won't ever die. Aw, oh, crap. Um. Aw, oh, cocoon. Dang it. The tombstone. Five. Eight all play. Jesus. I'll play number eight. Now we're gonna get some else besides the sound clips. Alright, I'll play number eight. Cowboys again. So it's another pictograms. Add the images together to create a movie title. Burning point? Fire point? Flashpoint? Fire point, flash point, burning point, what is it? Match point, dang it. Ah. Of course it was talking about the match thing itself, not the fire. The teeth. Six. And a trivia card. In what movie does a wealthy man announce to his son's kidnappers, congratulations, you've just become a $2 million lottery ticket as he offers a bounty on national TV? I don't know that one. Ransom. All right. The car. One. And a my play. Third my play of the game. And eight all plays. Is it going to be another clip or is it going to be the other one? It's another clip. Alright. My play number three. Get out of the car. Get out of the car now. Oh. What do you think you're going, huh? Didn't I tell you to stay over there by the Duke? Hey, what do you think you're doing? This is my own business, old man. Stay in the car. Hey, what you, what you, what you doing? I, I was just trying to find out where you was going, man. You thought I was going to shoot you? I wanted to go with hey, you. Hey, what's happening here? Put the gun down. Put the gun down. I ain't playing with you, man. You think I'm playing with you? Don't move. He's got one now. Your guns. Hey, man. Look, FBI. Uh, I'm policeman. <laughs> I'm just showing him how to take a gun from a suspect. I'll jack the chain. <laughs> Oh, Jackie Chan. What is the last line the cabbie says in the scene? I think it was drop your guns. I believe it was drop your guns. Yep, I got it right. There we go, and it's from Rush Hour. Box of chocolates. Six... And a buzz card, first buzz card of the game. There's a rat in the house, but who is it? It could be Mr. Orange or Mr. White, or it might be Mr. Yellow or Mr. Pink, or maybe it's Nice Guy Eddie. Color me confused. Take two steps backward and try to figure the situation out. Oh, well, I like that. Go back to, though. The tombstone. Two. And another buzz card. 
you opened your big mouth and broke the first rule of Fight Club, which means you also broke the second rule of Fight Club. <laughs> oh yeah, don't talk about Fight Club. Now Tyler won't let you participate in Operation Mayhem. Move two spaces back and get out of the way. <laughs> oh man. The teeth. Four. And a star. Now we, we did an all play with that symbol last. Now it's a my play. Fourth my play of the game. And still eight all plays. So my play number four. Is it going to be another clip? Yep, another clip. Castaway? Yes, Castaway. in the ball. Name the director of this movie. Ah. Crap. I know the name of the film, I don't know the director. If I, if it was named the movie, I would have gotten this. It's Castaway. Oh, Robert Zemeckis. Oh. Now, if it was named the movie, I would have gotten that right. Oh, well, the director. That was the teeth, the car, three, all play number nine, ninth all play of the game. Alright, where are we going to get this time? Alright, the ship, Titanic, and it's Invisibles, name the movie from which the actors have been removed. Is it the Pink Panther? But yeah, so that's the setting there. For Invisibles, you get a um, the ship like it's the Titanic where they're out the front of it. That's like before the crash happens when it's like daylight, and he holds her up. Oh, it's the Untouchables. Dang it! I thought it would have been Pink Panther because of the coat, the Crusoe. Dang it! But yeah, that's basically how that category goes. Box of chocolates. Three and trivia card. In what city does the 2005 comedy Fever Pitch take place? Um, I'm gonna guess New York. Nope, Boston. The Tombstone. One and our tenth all play. All right, all play number ten. What's number 10 going to be? Oh, it's a detective. And it's Child's Play. Name the movie. It's like Sherlock Holmes thing with the detective investigating the crime scene. So that setting was like investigating the crime scene. The detective investigating the crime scene. Wait, is it, um... It's Dr. Strangelove, the part where he's riding the rocket. And it goes down to the ground. Yep. He rides the rocket down to the ground. Yeah, I remember that clip. Like. Yeah, so I was detective investigating the crime scene. That's leading to that category. Um, that was the tombstone. The teeth. Four. And a trivia card. Name the 2001 cult movie in which a creepy six-foot bunny tells the main character 28 days 
Six hours, 42 minutes, 12 seconds. That is when the world will end. Uh, I believe it's... Oh, it's Donnie Darko. The car. One. And 11 ball play. So 11 all plays now, four my plays. Wonder if when we land on another my play, we'll get the um, other category in the my play. <laughs> Which on regular movie scene, it was like a sequentials and it might be that again. But anyways, all play number 11. Oh, it's a... Uh, who am I? Name the actress. Okay, so that is like... Um, it's like World of the Worlds, I think. I was born and raised in Texas. Oh, I don't have to read them. It has the voice. Okay. Before moving to California, I appeared in Reality Bites and Love in a 45. I got my big break when I landed the role of Dorothy Boyd in Jerry Maguire. I earned my first Oscar nomination after packing on the pounds for Bridget Jones's Diary. Where? Renee Zellweger. Oh, they say the name for me, too. Hmm. Renee Zellweger. Okay, so that setting was like... I think War of the Worlds with the spaceships, the walking ships like attacking the lasers. So if you get that, you get a Who Am I? Um, the Tombstone. Four. And Trivia Card. Name the black comedy that stars Nicole Kidman as a TV weather gal. Matt Dillon as her husband, and Joaquin Phoenix as one of the kids she hires to help make her a widow. I don't know that one to die for. Uh, the T. One. And a star. We did a My Play last with it. Now we're doing a trivia card. The next time we land on it, it's a buzz card. Oh, land on a trivia card. There we go. Name the 1999 movie that cost just 30, 35000 to make and grossed over $140 million in the U.S., while its 2000 sequel cost $15 million and grossed just $26 million. The Blair Witch Project. Oh, yeah. The first film was really successful, and I heard the second film wasn't as good, wasn't as successful. Um, the Car. One. And another trivia card. Name the movie in which an imaginary Elvis proclaims, I like you, Clarence. Always have, always will. It's true romance. Uh, box of chocolates. Two. And all play number 12. Alright. 12 all play. Oh, crap. Heard some out there. Hold on a second. Before we do the all play, I'm gonna check. Came back. This is Sarah. Like said, she was leaving, but she came back. She didn't come in the house, but she opened the gate, came in through there, and then went back out. So, anyways, we're on all play number twelve. So let's see what it is. Okay, it's um inside a haunted house, and if you get that, you get a spellbinders name the movie. You get spellbinders for going into the haunted house, basically. I think it's a haunted house person. Um, all that jazz, all that jazz. Yep, I got it. All right, that was the um. The chocolate star moved. All right. The tombstone. One. And a buzz card. Dead people, dead people, and more dead people. You see them everywhere, and it's driving you crazy. And unfortunately, you get nothing but a cold feeling from your dead beat shrink. Move back one space, close your eyes, and hope the walking corpses go away. The teeth. Five and our thirteenth ball play. Then the teeth is way ahead of the other pieces. 
Alright, I'll play number 13. And still four of my plays. Alright, let's all play 13. Oh. Haunted House again, so it's another Spellbinders. Um, Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. I believe. Yeah, Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. Now we do a buzz card. Next time we land on the star symbol, it's an all play. So now it's a buzz card. The Heathers have accepted you into their elite Westerberg high clique. How very. Or not. Get away as fast as possible by moving back one space. Before some liquid drainer gives your teenage angst the body count. Jeez, all of these have been moving back ones so far for buzz cards. Where's the forward ones? Box of chocolates. One and our fifth my play. Alright. So 13 all plays. Now our fifth my play. Are we gonna get the other category now? Come on. Yep. All the Matrix. Yep, sequentials. Put these Jack Nicholson movies in the order they were released, starting with the earliest. Um, the Shining was 1980. Oh, I don't know about the other ones. Chinatown Easy Rider, Pridzi's Honor, Pridzi's Honor. I know The Shining was 1980. Oh, Easy Rider was 69, Chinatown 74, The Shining 1980, Pridzi's Honor 85. So, yep, we got the other category in the My Plays. Um, where the setting thing you got for there was, like, the Matrix. The setting for the Matrix where, like, when Trinity kicks the cop and it spins around for a little bit while it's frozen. Okay, I believe that piece I moved was the... The chocolates? Yeah, the tombstone. One, and a tribute card. What 1940 romantic comedy stars Catherine Hepburn as a wealthy socialite, socialite, or socialite, Cary Grant as her ex-husband, and James Stewart as a tabloid reporter? I don't know. The Philadelphia story. The car, no, the tea. Three. And our sixth my play. Still 13 all plays. And now our sixth my play. So we're back to clips. Yep, back to clips. My play number six. Still 13 all plays. Good morning, Mrs. Chapel. Good morning, Mr. President. Mr. Rothschild and Ms. McCall are in the office, sir. They said they need to speak with you before scheduling. Fine. Janie, can you get me the number of a local florist? I'll take care of it, sir. Where do you want them sent? No, I want to do it myself. I just need the number. I don't understand. <laughs> I want the phone number of a florist. You just want the phone number? Yeah. I don't understand, sir. Is there a problem Jeannie, I want to send some flowers. I want to do it myself. I don't want to staff it out. I don't want to issue an executive order. I just want a phone number. I'll get it for you right away, sir. Well. Name the actor who plays President Shepard. So that's that character. I don't know who that actor is, though. Oh, man. Dang it. I don't know that one. Michael Douglas. Oh, in the movie's The American President. Um, the, the car. Two. Trivia card. 
1993 crime drama stars Al Pacino as an ex-con trying to go straight, Sean Penn as a sleazy lawyer, and Penelope Ann Miller as his dancer girlfriend. Uh, uh, Carlito's way. Box of chocolates. Four. And our 14th ball play. Alright. That was the chocolates I'm going to do. Alright. Ball play number 14. What's it going to be? Oh, it's an airplane. Alright, if you get the airplane, the category is now playing. Name the movie. Um. Oh, it's a poster. Identify it on a poster. Um, okay. Um. Is it... Crap. Divine Secrets of the Yaya Sisterhood. That's a strange name, but okay. So the setting you got there was a traveling on the airport to a plane. That's where you get that category. Alright. The Tombstone. Six. And Trivia Card. Land on Double Feature. What 1996 comedy features a lackluster game of golf, a spirited hockey video game, and a painful series of telephone messages? Swingers. Ah, uh, I didn't get it. Teeth. Three. And our 15th ball play. Land on double feature. All play number 15. What's it going to be? Alright, all play 15 is... Cowboys, so it's going to be a pentagrams. Alright, add the images together to create a movie title. Um. Uh, Scream. Oh, crap, I can't tell what he's doing in the first picture. Scream. Uh, dig a pump car. Gas car. Or pump car. Oh, Madagascar. Mad, uh... Ah, uh, crap, it was Madagascar. Dang it. The way they styled out. The car. Five. And our seventh my play. My play number seven. All right. So game one, a movie scene at second edition already had a lot of my plays, a bunch. So our seventh my play. It should be another clip. Yep. And fifteen all plays. Oh, it's born. Jason Bourne, the Bourne supremacy. Jason Bourne in custody. Yes, I do. He's an agency priority target. Last two words spoken in this scene. Ah, oh, crap. Um, I heard priority target. Um, I understand. Oh, yep, and it has the born supremacy. Because I know it was the born identity which came first, then this. Alright, so that was the car piece. Box of chocolates. 
six, and a buzz card. Congratulations, you've been accepted to Lambda Lambda Lambda. Now you get to party with Booger and the Booger and the girls of Omega Mu. Move ahead one space because you're proud to be a nerd. Ah, oh, there's a move ahead one. The tombstone, it, it's on double feature, so five, so that's ten. And our sixteenth all play. Sixteenth all play of the game. Alright, what's all play number sixteen gonna be? Oh, it's this again. Name the character. Alright, it's a who am I? Now it's a character. The lasers from the ships. I was both a queen and a senator. I married my true love in a quiet ceremony on Naboo. I know it's Star Wars. I died after giving birth to our twin children. Before I died, I named them Luke and Leia. Padme. Padme Amidala, Star Wars Episodes 1 through 3. Yep, I got it right. It was Padme. Yeah, I remember that. The teeth. It's also one double feature. Four, that's eight. And trivia card. One 1998 movie stars Kevin Spacey as a police officer who must defuse a hostage situation brought on by Samuel L. Jackson, a fellow officer who has been framed for murder. It's the negotiator. All right. The car. Six. And our trivia card. What actor played characters named Farmer Ted, Brian Johnson, and Gary Wallace in 80s teen comedies? I don't know. Anthony Michael Hall. Box of chocolates. Six. And trivia card again. What character was described as a walking carpet in the 1977 movie? Ah, crap. Oh, Chewbacca in Star Wars. Oh. That's right. The Tombstone. Four. And trivia card. What contemporary musical has its star singing Come What May, Sparkling Diamonds, and an Elephant Love Medley? Crap, I'm sorry if I don't know any of these so far. Um, Mullen Road. Mullen Road. The Teeth. A one. And our eighth my play of the game. So 16 all plays, eight my plays. My play number eight. Wait, uh, you haven't finished your breakfast yet. Oh, yes, I have. Okay, uh, will you be going to the, uh, the pajama disco tonight? The what? We wear our bed clothes and, uh, well, we party, you know, we dance. We have a good time. <laughs> you can't be serious. No, come on, no. I mean, it's your first night in Jamaica. And to be honest, I would like to dance with you. Ooh, do I don't think so. In case you haven't noticed, Winston, baby, I'm old enough to be your mother, okay? Ooh. What? No, nothing. I was just, uh, you know, thinking about that. Okay, so I'll meet you there at 10. Cool? Oh, uh, I, I don't think so. Well, I'll be there anyway. Watching the door. Hoping you change your mind. Nice meeting you, Winston. Winston. Ah, oh, name the movie. I don't know this movie. How Stella got her groove back. Alright, the teeth is a space away from all play to win, so, but we just did its turn. So when we get to it again, move it on to there. The car. Six. And our 17th all play. 
and land on double feature. All play number 17 of the game. So a lot of all plays in this one. And my plays. Oh, it's King Kong on the building. And the category is blankety blank. Identify the two word term or phrase. Oh, that's Um Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. The remake of Willy Wonka. Uh, Willy Wonka. Has to be. Willy Wonka. Yep. That's the remake, though. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, not the original Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Um, the box of chocolates. Three. And trivia card. What Gwyneth Paltrow comedy had the tagline, True Love is Worth the Wait? It's Shallow Howl. The Tombstone. Three. And our eighth my play, lead? Wait. No. No, th no, the last one was eighth. This is our ninth one. Jeez. Ninth my play. And 17 all plays. So the next time we get a my play, if any of these little turns, we should get the sequentials again. Yeah. So my play number nine. Speaking of dying, he told me Boyd Aviation took out a large insurance policy on him. Got to be in some kind of perfect shape to get that sort of a policy, I bet. You're not too sure it's a bend over, Mr. Babar. Oh, no, really, uh, we, we don't need to. I, uh, we don't uh oh. So, you know, my kidneys feel a lot better in this position. Maybe it's just that I'm not doing any calisthenics. You know, if I did some sit ups in the morning or bent over like this, I'd probably feel. 100% River. Thank you, Doc. <laughs> time. Alright. What is the name of the man who died so suddenly? Ah, crap. I don't know if it's Alan. I heard that name mentioned, but that was when he was saying me and him were talking about dying. But the man who died so suddenly is... Ed. And the movie's Fletch. That was the tombstone. Alright, the teeth. It's on the all play to win, so. First of four all play to wins in our 18th all play of the game in total. Now, if you get click on that, you get. Oh. Oh, you still get the haunted house, but it leads through that. So if I get this right, the teeth is the first piece moving on to game two. Alright, what's our category? Oh, it's a pictograms. So it had the Cowboys thing. Create a movie title. Um. It was Purse I. Self? What the hell? That's a Purse it's Eyes Point at Self? Ah, oh, crap. These pictograms are tougher than the ones in the regular scene in game. Super Size Me. Oh. No, I didn't get it right. Ring three, final cut. Oh, man, well, we're about almost at 50 minutes of recording space. Oh, man. The car's on the double feature. Six, that's 12. It also moves to the all play to win, so second of four all play to wins and our 19th all play in total of the game. So 19 all plays in total, two out of four all play to wins. So if I get it right here, if I get it right here, then the car will be the first piece to move on.
All right, what's our category? Oh, Spellbinders. It had the haunted house thing again anyway. I knew it le if you get the house, it leads to that. So, name the movie. The... Uh... The Prestige? Yep, I got it right. The car is the first piece moving on to game two. And the car was further behind at points in this game and it managed to come back and make it. So car is moving on to game two. Yes, I did get that right. So here's the visual sequence for winning. finish it all right so the car is moving on now it's the chocolates box of chocolates one and trivia card what actress plays a vengeful woman known only as the bride in a 2003 and its 2004 follow-up I don't know it Uma Thurman Kill Bill volume 1 and Kill Bill volume 2 the tombstone three and our 20th all play of the game. Alright, all play number 20. What's all play number 20 gonna be? The Graveyard. So it's gonna be a visual puzzler's name the movie. It's always gonna be named the movie pretty much for this. Um. Oh, um. Click. It's Click. I remember this. Adam Sandler movie. It's Click. There we go. Alright, that was the tombstone. Now we're on the teeth. Oh, the teeth is on ring three of Final Cut. So. Alright, we get to see what the Final Cut is. And if you click on that, you get... Oh, you still get um, King Kong on the um, the building. Okay, let's see. Name the movie. Happy Gilmore. I got that one right. All right. Yes. So we get the, to move on to the second question. All right. Second question. Uh, that one I don't know though. Um, Clarence Beer? That's the name it says. Duke and Duke. Uh, mm. Trading places. Dang it. Uh, well, gotta move it to ring two. Alright, now it's the box of chocolates. Six and trivia card. What oft quoted line precedes the line you never know what you're gonna get in an Oscar winning movie? Oh, that's um, Forrest Gump. Or, yeah, life is like a box of chocolates. Well, I guess I can count it because I knew the line was like, life's like a box of chocolates. I knew it was Forrest Gump, so. The tombstone. All play to win number three. Now it's for the tombstone. Hoping to be the second piece to move on. Third all play to win in total of the game and our 21st all play in total of the game. I meant to say total only for the all plays in total. I said, I mean, third all play to win in the game and our 21st all play in total of the um, of this game, game one. So if I get this right, the tombstone is the second piece moving on. 
And the category is... Alright, we had The Graveyard, so it's Visual Puzzlers. Name the movie. Alright. Um... Crap, what is it? Uh, Batman. I know it's Batman. Is it the Batman? Ah, uh, Batman Begins. Eh. I didn't say the whole title, so I'll accept that I got it wrong. Alright. Since I didn't say the whole title. So the tombstone is also in the final cut, ring three. But now we're back to the teeth piece, which is on ring two. So. Now it's the teeth piece's turn, which is on ring two of final cut. Alright. Now I gotta get two right. Name the movie. Oh, come on. I don't know what that one is. Oh. I didn't look at the final cuts that much, though, when studying the game. I looked at some, but this might be a little tough. Bull Durham. Nope. Gotta move it to ring one. The box of chocolates piece. The only piece not on the thing yet. Yep, it will move on to it. So the box of chocolates. Is the fourth and final all play to win of the game? The fourth all play to win of four. And our 22nd and final all play of the game one. So we finished this with 22 all plays, nine my plays. So here we go. What's our last all play of game one going to be? 22nd one. It's. It's sound clips. Alright, name the movie. Where is my automobile? Automobile? Leg. Big leg. Ah, 16 candles. All three of those pieces are on final cut. The only one where I got to get an all play to win right was with the car piece. And that was the Spellbinders. I'm going to have to split this to part two in case it starts getting very low enough. Okay, that was the chocolates. We're on the tombstone piece, which is also on ring three.